To celebrate our fifth year of Paper Wishes Weekly webisodes, let's visit the folks who make it possible. Here's John McNally, the guy behind the camera who does all that zooming in and out. Hi, John. Now, December Atkins is our producer. She selects the topics, organizes the projects, and coordinates all of us. Hi, Sembi. Our designers are Anne, working at her table. Wave to the folks, Anne. Now, here's Susan. And Susan ha is our lead designer, and she coordinates all the projects. She's also great with card making. And Lene Gehrig has been with Hot Off the Press the longest, and we watched her daughter Lauren grow up. Now, Houston Mitchell is our IT guy. He edits all the webisodes and knows everything about card making. Here's Victor, and Victor is our programmer and is hiding behind all of that equipment. Hi, Victor. And that's our crew. You know, it's so fun to bring you brand new tools and brand new things every week, and this week is no exception. We've got some new products from Epiphany Crafts, which is a new company, right, Paulette? It is, and uh, we've got a shape studio and a button studio, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, it was really fun for me to play with them, so I'm really excited. So come play with us. You know, Anne, the packaging says easy, simple, and quick, so. And it really was. It was? Yeah. Okay, here's the package. This is the flower uh, button studio. And Looks like this. And here's the round one. And to me, these kind of look like mini crock pots. That's what I did. Mean. <laughs> Were you hungry? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so there's uh, the mechanism in here. And um, then you also have these um, pieces, little toppers. Right, those are the, um, the blank buttons to Customize. Okay, so you've got so you can kind of see the size by my holding it and you too. Mm -hmm. And let's see some samples, and then you're going to show how to do it, right? Okay. Okay. Here are so it was two buttons, the circular and the little flower, and here are just some pieces. We'll get back a little bit, and um, that way you can just see. Here's what some pieces do. So the mm -hmm. magic is that you can. Uh, do whatever color you want. Right, the buttons are made of clear plastic so you can match the paper behind it to whatever project right. you're working on. Actually, it's about um, about an eighth of an inch thick, so pretty mm -hmm. thin, pretty slim. And, okay, let's show a product project, okay? Okay. Okay, so this is a card. Actually, Anne made this card. And you used, um, obviously, the Flower Button Studio to right. do these flowers. And we'll get in close so you can see them just fresh and fun look. And I used memory thread to thread through here and then I just twisted the ends to make the stems. Very sweet. Rounded those corners mm -hmm. and on the inside you have another little one so that's another idea mm -hmm. to top it and that looks like memory thread too. Yeah I threaded it from behind and then just swirled the ends around ah, in the center. Okay so gonna punch for us? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna make, what do you want, flower uh, around? Uh, flower. Flower. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here is the, um, not the crock pot, but the studio, <laughs> and it just opens up like so. And here's the flower button. Okay. And this is the plastic insert, and this is important to remember because it has the holes on that fit into the button. Oh, okay. And if you don't use the this, insert, this is... it's not going to work. <laughs> okay. So then you place the insert on the... Right on top when you're ready to punch. Oh, okay. So I've got a piece of paper and then you just peel off the backing from the button. Okay. Stick it sticky side up onto the insert. That's important because you don't want it to stick to the insert. Right. You're going to put the paper into the button studio. And this is neat because it's got a little window here so you can actually aim where you want it to That's punch. That's nice. That's very nice. In case you nice. have an image that you want to center yeah. it on. So I'm going to put the... Let's scoot a little bit over here button right in there. And this is why you need a punch to do this because everything needs to be lined up just right. so. And close okay. the lid. Yep, it's on. It's okay. On. Okay. And punch. And punch. Okay. And you did that sitting down. You weren't yeah, sure if you'd have to stand up. I use all my strength. <laughs> okay. And there's the finished button. So just that easy. 
Okay, so this is, because it's a punch, you can use that forever and ever. Mm -hmm. And, um, and just do it as often. And, and that kind of yeah. makes a neat little hole if you want to. Actually, it does. Yeah, you've got that Trim extra space. That, yeah. Okay, well, I always think it's neat. So okay. you've got the mechanism down, that process down. So mm -hmm. what else can you do? And this is another card. And the button here is uh, the butterfly head. And this is made from the pretty little prints. Oh, little prints and little patterns. Prints and patterns. Yeah. yeah. But now we also have something else going on with these uh, little crystal well they're shapes well, right little okay circles. circle shapes yeah hence the shape studio, shape studio. <laughs> is that yes. where we're going this is where we're going okay let me look inside oh and some more one on each side so button studio and shape studio i love how she's used those um border dazzles oh that's pretty yes right along there and mm -hmm. on the tips of the wings too uh, more memory thread what's well, mm -hmm. coming in handy mm -hmm. okay so button studio we saw the the circle and right. the flower. Now the shape studio, what do we have here? We have two shapes in the shape studio is right here. We've got the heart okay. and the circle. And the circle is a little bit smaller than the button. Okay, so yeah. we've got the heart too. So we've got some examples. Mm -hmm, I do. And we've, so it's the same process, right? Where you're right. Um, adhering the uh, little cap mm -hmm. and then punching it. And you've got, these all have paper. Minus the, the buttonholes, so these are just, you know, smooth right. on top. And you said a little bit smaller than the uh, button is right. what that, that circle is. Okay, right. so we've got cute, just sweet. Very cute. Here is something else that Susan did that I thought was really interesting. These are the Becky Nunn um, Patera, this is the necklaces. Oh, right, the earrings and the necklaces. Yeah. And stuff. And you can see it kind of looks iridescent. Mm -hmm. Well, what she did is she punched out of the Easy Peasy Jewelry Little oh. Book, which has paper and transparencies. Mm -hmm. And she punched the transparency, so like this. So obviously it's a transparency. Right. And punched it, and um, then that little um, shape mm -hmm. would not fit perfectly into the patera, but it okay. rested on top. Let me hold one of these quite perfectly. So she just put in a dab of the diamond glaze, diamond glaze okay. and um, pushed this down and it adhered it. And it just has this kind of iridescent quality. Yeah, and it's a nice little bubble on top of that. You yeah. Can see the Isn't that nice? So dimension. another idea that you can use, mm -hmm. but there's more. There's more. <laughs> so we want to see more ideas? Of course. Okay, here is a scrapbook page. And it's nice to show both card making and scrapbooking and lots of different things. And this is done with the Easy Circles template, which has created this really nice circle. Mm -hmm. But let's get in close because we're going to see both buttons and shapes. So here we go uh, again looks like some paper being threaded. Um, yeah, being threaded, and then behind it is metal. So this is the metal from 10 Second Studio. Right. OK, so just punch it. And in all of these, when they were punching um, the transparencies or the metal, um, they made sure that the de designers made sure to punch it many times to just to make sure that it would work smoothly mm -hmm. so that if you were duplicating this. Mm -hmm. Now I see, OK, so that's metal again, mm -hmm. but this shape has something the What's litter. going on? My favorite. Your favorite. Are you going to show us that? Yeah, we've just got some scraps. Susan, give me these. <laughs> um, this is Humongo Adhesive applied to cardstock and then um, glittered. So she just okay. rubbed the glitter in really well and then used that to punch her shapes. And wow. Buttons, yeah. So you can really um, do lots of different things that you can punch. I like mm -hmm. the kind of line art, the pen yeah, work around it. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay, so as we go, and this is a, out of the citrus paper, so it's nice mm -hmm. and fun and bright. Down here, we've got a row of um, hearts to do our journaling. Those are really sweet. And another row over here. So again, you just would think of these as embellishments, but they're embellishments that you can customize right. to match your card or your layout. I love how she's used the heart here as a daisy center. Yeah, that's sweet. And then she stacked a couple of flowers up here and mm -hmm. done a button. Very neat. Okay, now we're going to get small and go into some car, cards. go into a card. 
I thought at first this was one of the portfolios, but right. it's not. It's a card. <laughs> And there's two cards that are nested, mm -hmm. and then the buttons become the closure. That which is I, so clever. I think that's just very neat and simply. And the memory thread works really well for wrapping because it just stays in place. You don't have to worry about it falling. And off. it doesn't fray. I really exactly. like that. Yeah. So we've got a shape right here in the teal that matches mm -hmm. the paper. This Same is paper. out of Vintage Roses. We've got the red out of Vintage Roses behind the buttons. And then inside, we also have another flower. And here, this one, let's get in close, has um, some words behind it. So it can go kind of ephemera looking. Right, or, and that's just right out of the stripes. It is, it is. And up here, where the buttons were just backed with a piece of paper, because you do want to make sure that those are securely fastened to your, right. to your card. So that's very, a very cute. fun. And what more ideas, yeah. This is the six by six um, Sarah Surface album. And some fun things are done here as we go through. I love the fun colors, the pink and the yellow. You like that? Mm -hmm. Nice and bright. This is fun to write the name and put it underneath one of the shapes. Yeah, that's another thing to think about. You can do names, and here's a photo. I like that. And I love it, the little photos. And it kind of magnifies it a bit, I think. Yeah, yeah. And the buttons. Really so. And then there's some words on here, and some. So you've got the word smile, you've got this circle, uh -huh. and that's the word joy. And she's used a bunch of the petite dazzles, which I've got right here. And those are, um, they've got tons and tons of images on there. Okay, so they're a perfect size to fit on the buttons and the shapes. Right, exactly. Well, that's neat. So you can see more photos. And the album is a six by six size, so it's got our favorite photos. So it's a very cute size. Lots of lots of things. Okay, we have one more. Now this I think is a masterpiece. It really I, is. I think this is just gorgeous. So let's get in and see the buttons and the uh, shapes. So this is out of the uh, Color Me paper. Mm -hmm. And the distress inks. And the distress ink. Mm -hmm. So let's just kind of walk through here. So inside the flower that's on the paper. Uh, Susan has done uh, and inked another area and uh -huh. done the shape. Same thing there. So one on each, and you can see she's cross-mixed her colors. Yeah, very clever. And then down here, she's intermingled the shapes with the buttons. Mm -hmm. That's a great example of the button because you can position it. Right, right on top of that flower. And you can get that just perfectly. Okay. And then she's got the cute little... Butterfly. Oh, you're right. So in, taped on there. in that case, what um, Susan did is she took the Color Me paper and she masked off different areas so that when she inked it, um, whoops, it'd be nice if it were straight, wouldn't it? Would that help? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so then, um, and in this case, you might want to have a makeup sponge just right. to so that this is going to give a nice sharp edge mm -hmm. to the green. And yeah, and I found also that masking tape also works well. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Nice to, or the, I bet the stencil tape would right, work right. too. So then you would just go right over. Mm -hmm. Now you could cut these out, but you can also mask them. Yeah, so either way. And come back with another. And then the beauty, of course, is that you're going to get whatever colors you want, mm -hmm. just like she did right here. And you can make them match whatever paper. So it looks like Color Me and the Shape Studios are a really good match for anything you want. I agree. 